Hello and welcome to Hitagify. This week we're looking at an Atari Soft game, Jungle Hunt, the game of the week on CV Lunatics. So I checked it out, learned a little about it. I'll share what I know with you, which might not be all that much. Your vision is our vision, Coleco Vision. Okay, so let's see here. Jungle Hut. Uh, is it Taito? Taito? Um, anyway, um, we've got different difficulty levels and uh, for one or two players. We're going to play on level two because that's what we've been doing this week. Um, for most of the game, this is incredibly simple. Especially conceptually. Um, it reminds me of... Uh, more interesting version of uh, Quest for Tires, BC's Quest for Tires, which I'm just not into games like this that much. Um, this one's, I think the animation of the character is interesting, but it seemed like that's pretty much what it was for all of them at that time. Anyway, um, the start part, you got to swing and time your swings to land on the next vine. Um, even on level two here, this is very easy. Uh, well, I mean, once you master it, I wouldn't say the first time you play, it's easy. But you start to learn um, when you have to jump. Um, I find when you get to the next level, it's pretty, it gets pretty tough. Not the next level. The third time through here. So you can stab these guys. Um, if you look, there's a an air indicator up the upper right. So you can swim around, and as soon as you go to the top, that pops up. You don't even have to wait any time. Generally, I ignore these and swim along. I can't seem to find the stab feature and the exact point of that. I'll try to demonstrate one, but uh, you're supposed to try to... That one. I would say 50-50% of the time, I just die when that happens. Once you see that they stop coming, you're done. You just swim the rest of the way. This is 17 and 21. One, two, three, four. I'm afraid I'm going to lose count or I'd stop. Five, six. So when you're running, seven, you jump higher if you push it at an angle. Is that eight? I don't even know now. Nine, ten, somewhere around there. Uh, Eleven. If you're running fast, you go higher. I don't know what we're on now. Well, uh, but my point is the 17th one and the 21st one are going to not... Oh, see, that's what I was afraid of. See, I totally lost count. Um, these, if you're going full speed, you just go under that. I think there's two more. Maybe three more. And then this will be number 21. And you just keep running full speed and you go underneath it. That's why I should have done on the other one. <laughs> this is pretty easy to get past, too. What you do is you watch this first guy. The guy to the left is the one you really have to watch. As soon as he goes to the left, you jump in there. And you can't obviously jump on the uh, flames or you die. So you need that the farthest guy to come back uh, enough. This one's a little tougher, but not tough. Um, actually, there is a part that is incredibly tough, though. The apes are really tough. Um, I may not even get past them. It's tough to figure figure out the timing for that. There's my first death. That was obviously not it. Now, they have you go back a little bit, so... Um... I'm above it. It won't climb. So I just have to really time this one, right? And then I got past it. I believe there's one more, and I could very well not get past that one, too. I really am not great at this. Too low. <laughs> and there's only one more. That's what's rough. Got it. Once you're past, uh, you're just in the water. I'm not giving many, many instructions. I'm not helping. Um, I think you make 
you get points for your time. So I think not killing them or not being killed, especially. Oh, if I would have stabbed, I might have gotten. Um, oh, I thought I was past it. All right, so we'll play again, and I will show you a little more. <laughs> and I'll count this out a little better. Just hit completely wrong thing somehow. Uh, let's try. The color schemes on this are very intriguing. Um, I think I would call them horrible. Um, I don't know why there's pink in the sky. I kind of wish they'd done something to make the skin a different color, but this was true to some extent on um, Super Action Baseball, which I very much enjoyed. So part of this is probably my um, my perception now with new eyes going, why is the dude uh, glowing orange? That was a dumb joke. Blech. Um, there's not even any apes here, so this, uh, you should just fly through this one. But I have a problem. I think the, the only reason I don't like this game, other people might love it, that I am not patient in a game like this. I just don't want to wait around. I just want to, I want to get to some action, and there doesn't seem to be that much for me. The graphics are all right, but I think when they get to bigger characters, it just doesn't float my boat. I mean, again, I like it in baseball, but that's just for a moment. The actual gameplay, once a ball is hit, is quite a bit different. Um, I think you go a lot faster if you're going diagonal. I could be wrong. Um, I'm not. I'm not focusing very well on this, so I hope. All right, we're gonna try to count these out. One, two. Three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven. You can see how I'm getting eight. Uh, four, eight, nine. I mean, this is not challenging. Ten. And this is on level two. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. 14, 15, 16, I think this one's gonna jump over my head, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 bounces over my head. I just went straight through. I, I am angling the joystick up to the upper left to get a higher jump, but, so, when the guy on the left, when he starts to go back, that's when I make my first jump. This should put me at the right spot, and I want this guy to come far enough back. The only thing you got to watch out, if she gets too high in the air, the person you're saving, then you mess her. Um, the main thing is when you jump over the guy farthest to the left, you don't want to land on the um, flames. Because that will kill you. Oh my god, that was terrible. That was so obviously not going to work. What was I thinking? Oh, I thought I would be high enough. Um, he, the, the ape is climbing up that thing, so you have to be... You have to match up early. That's way too much. So you do learn some of the skills. I'm just, I'm so impatient. And I want to show you the next thing. The, uh, the order is different. Uh, I think I'm there. Okay. Um, hmm, it's not much. The, the order is different. Um, you have to duck under a few more. If you pull back um, and don't go as fast, you can adjust for those very easily. So you just have to adjust in between. And I think it's, you go at least 15 before you even see the first one. Otherwise, there's not much else to show about this game. For me, um, just not my favorite. Uh, graphics are mediocre. 
the gameplay is the swinging part gets a little more intense but i don't find anything interesting and as interesting about it and trying to gauge the monkeys is so difficult that i think it's not it's, it's not fun that's that's what i'm saying and i'm sure other people have their thoughts so if i'm missing something if something you could share i would love it um otherwise uh i think i will catch you next time on hit target five wrong one.